Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be talking about our astro and intuitive forecast for the week of February 4th. Now the time of me filming this, we are having the Aquarius new moon. This new moon is one of those things that Again, I keep saying it over and over and over again, but it really is a door opener and it requires a lot of flexibility. It requires an open mind and it requires you to be committed to what it is that you love and what it is that you feel that your heart is being called to at this moment in time. It's not the details of the Aquarius new moon that I wanna dive into because I actually wrote a whole blog for you about that on my website and you can find that at bahatilife.com. It's this intuitive message that it is that I wanted to share. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling this since yesterday. Just the energy of everything that's been bubbling and brewing all around me. And there have been a lot of opportunities that, I, that have come in last week and spilling over into this week and into this weekend. And I just have to use a lot of discernment when, as far as what I say yes to and what I say no to. For that, I've been spending extra additional time with myself, with my guides, and just working with them in order to make sure that my steps and the decisions that I make are for my highest and greatest good. I just feel like I've been in this like higher state of like vibration. It's a combination of things that has really had me in this like higher state of receiving and guidance and clarity and quiet that I just feel even now my hands are shaking and it's just be it's just this energy surge that's been you know, moving through my chart and moving through the cosmos as above, so below. There are a few messages that I wrote down. You guys already know how I how I do this. I just open myself up for my guides, my angels to come and speak to me and through me. And there's these images that were coming through for this week specifically, or at least if it's not this week for you, then if you are called to revisit this video at some point later on in your future, then this is that message for you in that moment. But basically, while I was sitting in my meditation, what I saw was a mosaic wall. Now, it kind of reminds me of the walls that are in Philadelphia. I don't know if you have ever visited Philly, but on South Street, there's a lot of mosaic walls there. I think as a nod to the Magic Gardens in Philadelphia, which is, you know, these broken shards of glass, which is actually what cut me, interestingly enough, as I'm saying this out loud. But these broken shards of glass that are recycled that are put together in a way that it that creates art and these broken mirrors. When you look at it up close, it all you see is these broken pieces. All you see are these little shards that were once garbage but were put to good use. Now that that's a lot of message just right there. Just the fact that something that was broken or something that could have been thrown away or something that maybe other people would see as garbage, one person sees the gift in it. One person sees the magic in that and then creates something that is spectacular. That in itself is a message. So feel free to take that and run with it if that's what is for you. But more than that, what I'm seeing when I see this mosaic is someone looking at the tiny pieces and looking at what's in front of them. When you look really closely, all you can see are these fragments. You can see that there's different colors, you can see the pieces of the mirror, but it's not until you take a step back, a, a hefty step back, that you start to see that those pieces, those fragments actually make a bigger picture. And all of those tiny pieces, they may not, they may come from all these different sources. They may come from all these different situations or different things, but when you put them together, they may not make sense because they come from different areas. They come from different backgrounds. They come from different bottles and different mirrors. Even if it's a mirror, it may not be the one mirror. It may be multiple mirrors. So when you look at it, it actually looks like chaos when you're standing in front of the wall. But it's not until you cross the street and you step back that you see like, oh my gosh, it's a mermaid. This picture is a picture of a mermaid or it's a picture of a person or it's a bird sitting on a tree with flowers next to it and that makes sense now but you wouldn't be able to see that when you're from your perspective when you're standing there looking at it and that's what I'm really seeing for this new moon or at least for this moment in your life when you you know sit at and just examine things it does there's these different aspects these uh, fragmented broken pieces that are all coming together to make this larger image for your life that it may not make sense in the moment but it does serve a purpose and that purpose is to create this ultimate bigger picture that is in alignment with what the divine 
and what spirit has for your life. The other message that it is that I received is, again, this emphasis on these broken pieces and these different things. Now, I can't tell if this if these are circumstances that have happened to you, these broken pieces. Like maybe, you know, you envisioned yourself or you envisioned your life to look one way, to be whole in this one thing. But for whatever reason, for whatever circumstances and lessons that the universe, the cosmos, the divine wants to teach you, that image that you have is broken and shattered in front of your face. Then you look at it in disappointment and you're crying over the loss of not only that thing that you've been holding on to, but this expectation and this, and this belief of what you wanted things to be. So then what you do is you move forward and you find this other thing and you bring it into your life and that one thing shatters and breaks in front of you and you cry and you mourn over the loss of, again, this expectation or this thing that you were holding so close to your heart. All you have in front of you as you keep continue to move on in life is these things that have broken or these things that have come together, these things that are holding together. But in reality is that every one of these pieces, these things in your life, they actually serve a really strong and specific purpose for your life. When you look at it face like for front value, for face value, it may not make sense to you, but it's always hindsight vision is so clear. Hindsight is 2020 is the quote that you know, we say time and time and time again, there's so much truth to that, that we can't see how things connect and we can't see how good things actually are or how clear things are until we take that step back. Um, and then that's when it makes sense. For a lot of people, we hear um, at the end of their lives, they look back or at the end of a journey, they look back and they see like, oh my gosh, all these things connected. It's so crazy how all of these broken things, all of these separate people, all of these separate entities, these separate events somehow connected. And that's what it is that I'm seeing here. Not only am I seeing these bro broken aspects of yourself that in turn probably or need a little bit of healing, but those aspects of yourself that need healing that you may look at and examine from your limited perspective, from your vision, you may look at it as broken aspects of yourself, but in reality, they serve a greater purpose to make up this greater artwork and this greater expression of what your life actually needs to be. If it wasn't for these broken fragmented pieces, you wouldn't be this um, vision that is required of your life that is written in the charts for you that you can find within your astrology chart. The same thing is what I see when it's, you know, these aspects of these things that have happened to you. If, if there's disappointments, if there's successes, if there's failures, all of these pieces, all of these aspects, they're actually connected in some way, shape, or form. And it's really hard for you to look at it in this moment and see it for what it is. Maybe it is time that will put the pieces together and then you'll see the bigger picture and then it'll make sense. Or maybe it's you changing your perspective. Whatever it is, the, the moral of the story is, is that I'm seeing these aspects, these different fragmented um, sections, almost like a mosaic, that are coming together, that are connected together, that create this bigger picture that, again, may not make sense to you, but it does serve a greater purpose. The next thing that I see that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I'm seeing the word um, denial or the answer no. Even at this Aquarius new moon, which is the time that I'm filming this video, the new moon tends to open doors, but a lot of times a no to something is a yes to something else. Now, I'm not sure if it's someone is denying you or you have to make the decision to say no to something. Now, I'm seeing this in my personal life where I've, I've had to say no to two things in one weekend that didn't logically make sense for me to say no to, but on an intuitive and emotional level, the answer had to have been no, at least for right now. And the level of fear and hesitation that I had in, made that, in making that dis decision was pretty high for me. But at this point, if I've been following my, my guidance, if I've been following my intuition, if I've been following my guides and they haven't steered me wrong and they're telling me or kind of guiding me to say no or the answer feels like a no, then I have to respect that and step into faith or step back into faith. So that's a message for me that I've been experiencing in my own personal life. I don't know how that applies to you guys, but I do see this energy of saying no or this space of denial. Again, I can't tell from my notes how this applies to you because I'm not looking at your specific chart right now. 
I'm looking at the general picture. I'm looking at the general message. I'm taking a step back and looking at the general message. I'm not looking at these fragmented pieces. And that's the message that it is that I'm delivering today. But really what I'm seeing is you needing to say no to something. The crazy thing is, is again, these fragmented pieces, it may not make sense. You saying no to this actually opens the door for you saying yes to something else that is for your highest and greatest good. Or again, maybe someone else is saying no to you and it doesn't make sense to you and you may be feeling fragmented. You may be feeling, you know, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel good. But in reality, when you take that step back, you'll see how certain things are actually connected and in alignment in order to serve your highest and greatest good. The big thing with that is you really do have to trust, and I don't need to dive into that any further, into that message, because that is the message. You have to trust. You have to have faith in yourself. If you can't have faith in yourself, then at least have faith in, in the divine and what the cosmos have in store for you, and trust that, because it is always for your highest and greatest good. You won't be overlooked. You won't be forgotten. Just trust and have faith. But back to what it was that I was saying, I do see the word denial. I do see the word no. Again, you know, there are going to be some things or some people that will not see your worth. Them not seeing your worth does not mean that it doesn't exist. In fact, Sometimes the cosmos, the divine, or your guides will make it so that some people are blocked from seeing your light. If they saw your light, they would latch on or they would not have good intention or it would distract them from their purpose. It would distract you from your purpose. Your steps would be rerouted in a way that is not for your highest and greatest good. So you are protected by you being missed by certain people, even if it logically makes sense or even if it's everything that it is that you want for that person to see your light, to see your shine and to invest in you and to choose you. Sometimes you have to trust that it is actually in your best interest for you to be missed and for you to be invisible. When you are missed and when you're invisible or when you are camouflaged, that means that the predator, whether you realize that it's the predator or not, does not see you. If they can't see you, they can't get you. If they can't see you, you are not a target. So in that moment, you have to trust that if you be, are being missed by certain opportunities, if you're being missed by a certain person or a certain thing, that it is actually for your highest and greatest good, especially if you've done it all in your power in order to shine your light to be seen, to be heard, to be chosen. The way to work this for your benefit is to sit back, allow yourself to be camouflaged and observe. If you are saying no, or something is saying no to you in that moment, simultaneously something else is saying yes. You even shining a little glimpse of your light, not even a full blown, you know, this is who I am, you know, the peacock that just kind of shakes his feathers. You even shining a little bit of your light and showing your gift will be seen by those that need to see it. Even if it doesn't logically make sense for them to see it, something about it, the universe, the angels, the guides will unblindfold them. They'll open their eyes up. They'll see this little glittering spark and they'll be like, who is that? What is that? That's because that person is the one that needs to see you. That person is the thing that chooses you. That person is, a, is the perfect thing that may not make sense in the greater, in the grand scheme of things because again, that mosaic, that mosaic wall, those tiny pieces that when you look at it from face value, it just looks like little shards of broken glass, but when you step back, it creates a whole bigger picture. That person is a part of the divine plan in order to unfold something bigger and better for your life. This is another aspect of what it is that I'm seeing for the new moon and also for this moment in your life. You can do everything in your power to shine your light and at the same time, you will be missed. You will not be chosen. On the flip side of that, you could shine a little bit of your light and the right person at the right time will see that without you even giving 110%. This is again for your own protection and it's a part of your destiny and this path that's unfolding in front of your life. It goes right back to the word that I said before, which is to trust. Trust the universe, trust the divine, and trust your own spirit. Now, at the time of me filming this video, there is a lot going on in the cosmos with the Aquarius new moon. Aquarius is all about go, go, go. Mars is moving through the sign of Aries, which is another thing that's all about go, go, go. Venus just moved into the sign of Capricorn, which wants to build, which wants to commit, which wants to connect. There is a lot of energy that's been building up momentum. But at the same time, as I'm looking at my notes and I'm looking at the energy, I do see again the word of denial, which means that there might be a block. There might be like a moment of standstill where you have to kind of reassess and then and again, take a step back and decide ultimately, is this something that you should be saying yes to or no to? If you do have a moment when your intuition is telling you that, you know what, this might not be the right thing for you, it's not that 
it's not going to happen or it's not going to happen with that one thing. I just see that it needs some time to kind of ripen and to be ready for you just as much as you need to be ready for it. And if you pick it too soon, it just won't be to its maximum um, potential. It won't be to its maximum capacity. I don't know if that's also because the new moon in Aquarius, new moons are very much this new energy that still needs about 28, 30 days to kind of unfold and to reveal itself. Maybe whatever this one thing is, will be ready and perfect for you at the time of the Virgo full moon. But either way, I just really want to encourage you to, to trust, to be patient, and to know what things you have to say yes to, but more importantly, what things you have to say no to. And again, I just feel the need to reiterate that if you are in fact saying no to one thing at this point in time, it's almost like as, as you were saying no, your energy, your spirit has instantly said yes to something that is bigger and better that is actually there and right for your picking. All right, my loves, so I hope that that message made sense. Please share this video with your friends. Leave your experiences down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Give a thumbs up if you like this video because there's plenty more where this came from, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy New Moon. Bye.